everybody, Rick with Stumped, back playing Kerbal Space Program, and today's the day that we're going to save Jeb. He's been orbiting out here for 407 days, the poor guy, and today we're going to try to save him. I, I, I do stipulate try, because I don't know if we're going to be able to, but by golly, we're going to try. And there's only one woman up for the job, and that's Valentina Kerman, obviously. And we're going to use a modified version of... No, definitely not that ship. That ship's old and inefficient. There we go. We're going to use a modified version of this ship right here. And by modified, I mean I'm going to take out the science lab because we don't need that. And I'm going to replace that with a crew cabin. Bingo. I'm going to keep this right here. It has a ton of batteries which should keep our SAS happy. And other than that, everything should be good. Stages should be set. We should be good to go. Now, this is the ship that I tried to get to the moon in, uh, in my off time, and it was actually pretty successful. This ship should have the goods to get the job done. God damn it, Bill Kerman! I hate you! Okay, we've got the correct Kerbal, finally. No thanks to Bill. Got SAS on, full thrusters. All right, we're off. Off to the races. We're coming to get you, Jeb. This time, we're gonna do it. We're gonna rescue. I, I don't know if it's gonna be the same Jeb, though. I mean, 407 days all alone in space, you're bound to develop some space madness. And I'm sure that he has some space madness. It would be really insensitive for us to consider that he wouldn't have some space madness. So we'll just have to take that into account when he gets back down to Kerbin that he's probably not going to be the same guy that left Kerbin 407 days ago. Slightly different at, at best. All right, we're making our orbit now. Just about there. Just about there. All right, I'll cut it and get a little bit closer to that app Wapsis. Get a bit more efficient here. Hey, Jeb. I see you. We're so close, yet so far apart. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming. You just hold in the... Just, just hang in there, buddy. We're coming. Come on. This thing is so big, it just turns so slowly. It's okay, though. I've got plenty of electric charge for our SAS. So we're not going to be running out of that. We'll be able to reorient ourselves as much as we need to. Come on. Come on. Just swing that big booty around. Take your sweet, sweet time. Swinging that sweet, sweet booty. There we go. That's better. And periapsis is stretching. Hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, hundred and forty, fifty, sixty. All right, there we go. And how our orbits seem to be pretty synced up too, which is very fortunate. Now we just gotta make sure that we get on the same track. Okay, I'm gonna let that app waps just go ahead and stretch out a little bit and cut it. All right, there we go. All lined up, oh, more or less. This looks like we could be getting pretty close. This is going to be the one. Oh, we're so close to each other, Jeb. Okay. We're going to slow. Holy moly. We're very close to one another. There's Jeb. Only 19.6 kilometers away. Okay. What we're going to want to do is switch over to Jeb. Right now we're in the Wiggle Hat MK1 Jeb ship, and there is Valentina, 17.1 kilometers away. Oh, wow. Okay. So close. So close. Okay. Let's go towards Jeb here. We're coming for you, buddy. We're coming for you. Whoop. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Wrong way. Okay. There we go. 14. 13 kilometers. 7. 6. 5. All right, Jeb. I see you, buddy. 
All right, just over seven kilometers. I can see you. We are so close to each other. Okay, cut the engines, cut the engines. I feel like we should start trying to go down. Okay, oh crap. Oh crap, we're gonna pass him. We're gonna pass him. Gonna wanna go the other way. Holy crap, there he is. Jeb, I see you! Oh shit, we passed him! Where did he go? Okay, as you can see, we are very close now. Very close, and I'm just trying to match our speeds because, there we go. Come on, up, oh, a little bit too fast, a little bit too fast, okay. There we go. All right, our speeds are beginning to match up a little bit. We are meters apart, less than a kilometer apart. Okay. Getting closer and closer. Closer and closer. Okay, it's slowing down now, so I'm gonna wanna turn around and add a little bit more forward momentum. Uh, we're so close that when I rotate the capsule, it has a drastic effect on our proximity to Jeb. Okay, there we go, there we go. Come on. Now what I want to do is make sure that we have enough juice to get home too. So I don't want to waste all of our fuel in trying to catch this guy. Alright, now we're only a quarter of a kilometer away. Oh, we are so close to him. I can taste it. I can taste the space badness. Okay. Okay. Nice and easy now. I'm going to want to try to slow down just a little bit. Though, this is actually looking pretty good. Holy crap. Can't believe how close we've made it. We've almost got... Our speed's matched now. This is sort of like landing on the moon. <laughs> There's a lot of changing speeds back and forth, back and forth. And now only 220 meters away. We're coming for you, Jeb. Jeb, I can see you. I can see you. <gasps> there he is! There he is! Jeb, I see you, buddy. I see you. Okay. We don't want to blow this. Don't blow this chance. We just want to get right up beside him. And just sort of try to match his speed. And the tricky part is going to be switching over to Jeb's view. And making sure that nothing gets fucked up between then and now. Okay. Now we're going to switch. We're going to switch views. Whoo! There it is. Okay. Come on, Jeb. EVA time, buddy. Here he comes. Here comes Jeb. Oh. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn around, turn around. It's okay. It's okay, Jeb. It's all right. No, 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 no. Going the wrong way. There you go. Come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, buddy. Down, down, down. Very good. Back it up just a little bit. Okay, okay. There we go. Good, good, good. Down just a little, a little, 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 little. There we go, there we go. Oh, you're on it, you're on it, buddy. Turn around. Board! Board! Cannot board, module full! Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna try something very unconventional. Which may work, it may not. 
It probably won't, but we're gonna try. Jeb, can you fit inside there? There you go, little buddy. Just get that little head of yours in there. Oh, you, you can board right there? Board right there, yes. Ha ha, we did it! We did it! Jeb's inside! Jeb's inside! We did it! Jeb, you've been rescued! Holy crap, I can't believe this! Alright, I am very excited right now. Oh, we did it, Jeb. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Jeb and Valentine are together! Oh, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing! We may as well try to do some signs while we're up here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. So happy. So happy right now. Okay. Do the little space thermometer reading. 12 signs. Wow, we're, we're actually racking up some decent signs here, too. Oh, Jeb is so happy. Rightly so. Okay, let's get you home, buddy. Let's get you home. All right, goodbye, Wiggle Hat, MK1. Job well done. And it only took us a day to get Jeb. So good job, Valentina. Valentina is really just becoming the clutch pilot ace here. She is just getting all the jobs done. I'm very, very proud of you. Anybody who says that women can't do what men do are full of shit. Because Valentina is proving all of the men wrong and proving them awfully stupid, too. She hasn't gotten lost in space for 407 days, like some men. Reentry shouldn't be a big deal. I should have a heat shield, right? I do have a heat shield. That's going to help us. What I don't have is extra parachutes, and I should have probably put some extra parachutes on this thing, but uh, I think that we'll be able to glide into safety. Pretty sure we'll be able to glide in safely. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Because I'm impatient. Alright, now is the moment of truth. Now is the moment of truth. We are coming in at just over, or just under 2,500 meters per second. Which is an okay speed. And we've got plenty of electrocharge, so we can just kind of keep this on the periaxis, or rather the retrograde, and uh, shouldn't have to worry about eating up all of our electric charge. We should have plenty to spare. Jeb, I'm so proud of you, buddy. How does it feel to have that helmet off after 407 days? I bet it feels so good to feel... The atmosphere, well, the artificial atmosphere on your face, uh, that's gotta, I can only imagine. I mean, I can sympathize and empathize with you, because I have also suffered from space madness. So, I, I get what you're going through, but you will adjust. You'll get used to things, every now and then you'll have flashbacks and you'll start seeing things that you're not quite sure are there or not, but, you know, you can by and large live a normal life. You'll see. You'll see. It'll be alright. Okay, we're starting to slow down now, which is good. And we're not going to be coming in over the ocean, which is a little bit concerning, but I think that we'll be able to deal with that. Now we're starting to slow down. Oh, this is looking good. As long as we don't hit the ground before we slow down enough to hit the parachute. And I think that we're going to slow down just fine. Yeah, this is going to be good. 4,000. Okay, we just got to get to that 250 meters per second so we can hit the chute. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit, this is going to be close. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to try to put us down in that lake if I can. Try to. Let's see. Should be able to... Do a little bit of fancy maneuvering here. Hopefully.
Into the lake, into the lake, into the lake. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Because that would have definitely helped us if we had a little bit extra space to deal with this uh, landing problem. There we go. Now I'm going to back it up just a little bit. Back it up just a little bit. Not too much now. Don't put too much stank on this. Just, uh, there we go. There we go. That's nice. Perfect. Now we should land in the lake. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's begin to speed it up a little bit. I'll keep the, uh, rockets on this time. During our re-entry. Switch the surface there. There we go. Just in case I need to use a little bit of juice to slow us down. Shit! Jim, no! God damn it. God damn it, Jeb. This time, we've got to get you home safely. Come on. Is this gonna be the one? Come on. Deploy that chute. God damn it. Slow it down. Oh shit, you're alive, you're alive, you're alive, you're alive, you're alive, yes! I'll take it, good enough. It's good enough, we didn't get the science, but I don't care. I don't care about the science. We got Jeb home safely. Recover vessel. We did it. We did it. 48 science. Oh, we didn't get any science. I don't even care because we got Jeb home. Nobody got experience, but it's okay. We did it. What do you think about that, guys? Did you guys like this episode? Rescue Jeb. Done. One last thing to worry about. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am really stoked. Super excited that we managed to get that guy home. Whew. Anyhow, I hope you guys liked this episode. And if you did... Be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Uh, of course, hit me up with those comments. Let me know what you guys want to see in future episodes. I, I took your guys' consideration into account when you said space planes. So last episode, we worked on that, and there's definitely more space planes to come. But until next time, I'll see you all later.